What's up, babies? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Sex Education Done Right, where we are going to talk about pleasure by stimulating the clitoris. So yeah, clitoral orgasms. And I am so excited to talk to you guys about this today because this is one of my favorite types of orgasms. And also, 90% of women can't get off without touching it. So I think it is very important that we learn how to tease, touch, and stroke the clitoris. Also, I'm going to end this video with two positions for you how to hit it solo and how to hit it if you're partnered. Okay, but first things first, one thing that I do think that is extremely important is to understand your own anatomy and to also understand your partner's anatomy. Otherwise, we are just going to be shooting in the dark, touching places maybe with too much pressure or where there's not going to be a whole lot of pleasurable sensation and we just don't want to do that. Mind you, everybody's penis and everybody's vulva is completely different. So what might feel good to you might feel awful or terrible to me. So make sure you're communicating and telling and talking to your partner or make sure you're paying attention to yourself. Now, first things first, we're going to do this anatomy lesson and nice and fast here. So here I have a picture or a 3D printed model of the vulva. As you can see, this pink part resembles the clitoris. So this is your clitoral glands, what people know as the bean at the tip of the iceberg. Um, and this is a very sensitive area. This has eight thousand nerve endings that is two times more nerve endings than the tip of the penis okay so if you're a penis owner watching you know how sensitive the tip of your dick is it is just if you stimulate that too fast it makes you want to crawl out of your body and crawl out of your skin and just like inch away into a corner same thing for the clitoris this is why we don't want to just go right for the kill this is the spot that we like to build up to touching, right? We don't want to directly stimulate that because that does not feel great. However, the clitoris is a lot larger than one would think. It can range all the way up to nine centimeters in length. So this part of the clitoris is actually internal. This is where the vaginal canal is right here. These are the bulbs. Now we all know about the G spot or the G zone. Now, instead of believing that the G zone was actually a separate spot inside of the vagina, we found out that it's actually part of the clitoral network. Work. When you're stimulating that G spot, you're actually stimulating the clitoral legs. So this is another reason why we don't just jam or insert our fingers right into the vagina right away because that does not feel nice and it's also quite shocking to those 8,000 nerve endings. All right, so now let's dive into our first set of techniques. Now we are going to start off in a warm up phase because like I said, 8,000 nerve endings, we are not going to pound that with direct stimulation. That is no bueno. We don't need that. That is like, we, we save the red button for last. We don't just come in hot when somebody says don't press the red button and just nail that red button. Unfortunately, we are all adults here and we're just chilling, waiting to push that red button. So don't touch the clitoris yet. We are going to start from the top, literally. <laughs> so if you are playing and exploring with a partner, we are going to start at the very top by kissing their lips, kissing their neck, working our way down the body, stop at the breasts, stimulate the nipples, because if we stimulate the nipples, they have a higher chance at receiving an orgasm. And obviously we wanna do everything we can to get them to that point. That is exactly why we are here. So after a little pit stop at the nipples, we're gonna work all the way down and give light strokes to the lower belly or the lower tummy. Moving into the thighs, doing light strokes on the inner thighs, maybe a little slide underneath, a little booty grab. But we really wanna give that attention to the hips, the inner thighs, and massage that area. Get them going, make them want more. Keep the panties on, whether you're solo or partnered. Make this spicy tease yourself seduce your partner speaking about seduction life is way too short to be having mediocre sex you're here to amplify and electrify your sex skills and possibly dive into pleasure that you didn't even know existed and there is one company that i know that has the exact same goal that i do however they are completely unhinged and uncensored and that is beducated they have over a hundred different courses led by sex experts 
experts all around the world, all with one goal in mind, and it's your and your partner's pleasure. And if you know me, then you know how much I love and support Beducated. I use them all the time for myself and for my partner because I love learning about sex. And one thing that I absolutely love about Beducated is how they don't just sit you down and describe to you what the heck's going on. They give you a breakdown. They give you demos. They tell you what toys to buy, how to explore it safely, and how to bring it into the bedroom with your partner. So there is nothing kinkier and more fun than learning together. So if you enjoy my style of content, I know you're going to enjoy Beducated so much more because they're able to show you so much more. And lucky for you, it's November and Beducated is doing the biggest sale that I've ever seen them do and it's 60% off the whole year. But I promise you, once you see what's in the site, there's no going back. You're gonna wanna sign up. And when you wanna sign up, make sure you use the code Pleasure Baby and click that link down below also for your free 24 hours of access to the website. Do not sleep on this. And if you change your mind, you still have 14 days of money back a guarantee, but I promise you, you're not gonna need that. So instead of investing in jewelry and clothing and technology that's gonna die on you, invest in your relationship with self or invest in your relationship with partner. Always get better with connecting with your partner. And with Beducated, you guys can do that. So click the link down below. Now let's dive in to our second tip because once we are done seducing, you know what we're gonna do. We are going to lubricate, baby. So when we talk about lubrication, we're not just gonna slap on some cold lube. Nah, warm that lube up. Put it in a little glass of warm water beside the bed, get it nice and toasty so that when you go to drizzle that lube all over the vulva, it can just work its way down and not shock everything with that cold temperature. Our third technique is gonna involve something that you probably haven't done or haven't seen before. And neither had I until I learned it from Beducated. And we are gonna awaken the sensations with some labia stretching. For those of you that didn't watch my quick anatomy lesson, the labias are the lips. So we're gently going to squeeze and pull them in one direction at a time. So it's gonna look like a pinch and grab, pinch and grab, pinch and grab, but all with a really, really gentle pressure. Now on Beducated, they actually show you a demo on this. So if you're wondering what the hell I'm saying, check out bed. This helps awaken all of the sensations throughout the vulva as a whole because we are stimulating the labias. And what is underneath the labias? The clitoral bulbs. The fourth technique is definitely one of my favorites. And it's taking either the pad of your fingertip or a vibrator and just circling your vulva, drawing little tiny circles one side at a time. So it looks something like this where we are just circling either side right in between those labias. It feels so nice with a vibrator and it kind of teases around the outside of the clitoris. Now for the fifth technique, the moment you have all been waiting for because this whole time, what have we been doing? We have been avoiding pressing the red button and now our little kid child self has come out and we get to press that red button. So we are gonna awaken the clit and we're gonna do this with gently pressing the clit to both sides, rocking back and forth, back and forth, almost like a windshield wiper motion. Now finally, my last tip here that is oh so, so important because if you miss this or F this up, it can be so frustrating for yourself or for your partner. And there are three things that we need to keep in mind and that is speed, pressure, and intensity. And how we figure out what we wanna to stick to and what is working for these three things is we pay attention to our own body or we communicate to our partner. Yes, that feels good more there, softer there, harder, faster. And it's a learning experience. So they're already going into this wanting to be better for you, wanting to give you more pleasure. So if you lie to them or you're not speaking your truth, then when you don't hit your O, you don't really have anybody else to blame because you weren't honestly communicating over to your partner what felt good. But this is where the frustration can occur. The closer that we get to climax, we want to stick to what we are doing because what we are doing feels good and it's working. This is not the time to change things up. I repeat, this is not the time to change things up. Unless you are practicing edging, then go ahead, change it up because you're gonna lose your O. But at this stage, when we are getting closer to climax, we want to keep the momentum going. Because if you change it up, you can lose momentum and then sometimes that orgasm can just be 
gone. And it's the saddest thing ever when you see it leave because you know it's going to be another few minutes before you experience that again. And honestly, to get things back like that takes a lot of practice. So it can be frustrating. But if this does happen, be patient. It is A-OK. -okay. We will get you there eventually. All right. But before we finish up, I want to dive into these two positions. So the first position that we are going to be doing is if we are giving ourselves pleasure during a solo play. So this is the best position to do when you are really learning anything so you want to be almost flat on your back give yourself a couple pillows to prop yourself up just a little bit so that you are nice and comfortable and relaxed we don't want to be straining our neck looking down and we don't want to be curling our back all tense we want to be nice and relaxed so once our back is nicely supported we are going to put a bend in our knees and we are slowly going to let them flop open this gives us complete access to what we are pleasing and it also lets us give seduction to ourselves by stroking our legs, rubbing our lower tummy, maybe doing some deep belly breathing. Now, the second position that I want to give to you guys has got to be one of my favorites, and that is the cat position. So if you know, you know, it's a missionary on steroids. So the vulva owner is going to be laying flat on their back with their legs spread open, and the penis owner or the strap owner is going to be sliding in in the yoga pose cobra. And if you don't know what cobra is I'm not gonna show you you'll have to look it up but if you're looking it up you might as well just look up the cat position now probably the main reason why I absolutely love this position is because you are stimulating external clitoris and internal or also known as the G zone because the penis is sliding in and the pubic mound is actually pushing on top of your clitoris that is exactly why for this position we need extra lubrication because without that extra lubrication it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable and we want some slide and glide because our clitoris on the outside is not self lubricating and we need some extra glide in this position so that you can feel everything now the penis owners thrust isn't gonna be coming in and out nice and deep it's actually gonna be more of a C like thrust so more of that grinding scooping motion and let me tell you this position is about to blow your mind when done right I promise you it will leave you happy 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 now to wrap things up, just because I focus on the clitoral orgasm for this video doesn't mean you can't add in other orgasms or other type of stimulation with the clitoris. In fact, my favorite way to have anal or to receive anal is actually with clitoral stimulation from a toy. That is just, ooh, it is money, 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 money. You can add anal or you can add G-spot play or you can even add some cervical play as well or a cervical orgasm. The clitoris is kind of the gateway to pleasure. It lets you explore different areas. It's also that get off that kind of gets you there right quick, right fast. Um, and like I said, 90% of women need you to touch it at some point to receive orgasm and honestly there is no shame on how you receive your orgasm get your bag babe all right babies that is it that is all i have for you today if you want to explore more sex education unhinged make sure you check out beducated by clicking that link down below using the code pleasure baby and grabbing that 24 hour access free into the site or grabbing that insane black friday deal of 60 percent off the whole year i know it has changed my relationship and my sex expertise and just opened my mind up to so many other things all right babies i will see you later in the week for another episode cheers